Hey y'all, welcome to Skeeter's Ridge. Uh, so it is Memorial Day weekend. Um, it's Sunday. So we're going to go down to some friend's house and they have a smoker. And so we are going to be smoking some meat. Um, they've already got some ribs on. Um, I think... What else did he say he was putting on? Maybe like a whole chicken or something? I don't remember. Um, but we are taking a whole rabbit... Uh, to smoke in their smoker. Um, we got this rabbit from uh, Yellow Ridge. Uh, excuse me. We got this rabbit from Yellowstone. We got this rabbit from uh, Yellow Rose Ranch. Um, we met them, well, I met Ashley a few weeks ago um, at the farmer's market where we set up. And uh, I got a duck from them, a duck breast from them uh, last weekend and cooked it. And it was amazing. First time I've ever done that. Um, but today we're going to take a whole rabbit that we got from them um, and we're going to take it and put it in the smoker. So since we have never smoked rabbit before, I did watch some videos ahead of time. Um, and we are using the method from uh, Chud Barbecue. So I will make sure and leave uh, links for uh, Yellow Rose Ranch and a Chud Barbecue um, down in the description below so make sure that you check out their uh, their YouTube channels as well so uh, what, I, what I've already done I'm going to show you what I've already done here um, so we started this last night um, this is there's the rabbit so it has been soaking in a brine um, overnight the brine is, um, so uh, depending on the size of the rabbit, the video that I watched, the rabbit that he had was um, a little bit bigger. Um, but however much, so we weighed the water that we put in. Um, and then we added 5% salt and 5% hot sauce. And then uh, we added... Um, an Italian seasoning and a couple of bay leaves. So this uh, this little rabbit here has been sitting in this brine um, all night, and uh, so now I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to rinse the brine, the rest of the brine, off of the rabbit, and then we're going to uh, put a dry rub on it. So um, this is, like I said, this is the the method that we saw um, from. Uh, from Chud, and this is what we decided would be best. Um, so here we go. I'm just going to pull this out. Um, it's a pretty good looking rabbit. I don't know much about rabbits, but I think it looks pretty good. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, I'm just going to rinse um, all the brine that's still left on it. I'm just going to rinse it out real quick. Rinse it off real quick and then we'll put it on a little pan. So while I'm rinsing this off, um, since it is Memorial Day weekend, um, yes it is kind of the official start to summer, but let's not forget uh, what this holiday is for. Um, you know, this is the time to be thankful and remember um, all of our soldiers that have given the ultimate price. They gave their life so that we could have these freedoms. Um, they keep us safe. And so um, we are extremely thankful for our military. And we are extremely grateful to those who did give their life uh, for our freedom. And uh, so, yeah, y'all just, uh, sometime this weekend, sometime today, y'all just take a minute and uh, remember what this holiday really is. Um, I mean, yeah, it's cool we get to go to the lake or go to the pool or go to the beach or whatever and, you know, cook good food and have a good time, but we need to remember that we have those freedoms because of those soldiers that gave their life. Uh, I'm just going to pour this brine down the sink. Uh, I don't need it. I, nothing else I can do with it. It's had raw meat in it. 
the thing leaks out and throw it in the garbage. The next step is going to be uh, for us to put a rub on this rabbit here. Let's see if I can get it good. All right, so make sure that this guy can lay open. So what I may need to do is, um, I just need to cut this little part right here. Um, well, actually, it's just going to kind of flop open like that. Okay, so that's a pretty, that's a decent little rabbit. Not bad. Um, Um, so what I have here is um, got about uh, an about an eighth of a cup of uh, just regular pepper, um, about a little less than an eighth of a cup of, a cup of uh, garlic powder, and then uh, maybe a tablespoon tablespoon and a half of uh, smoked uh, paprika. Um, <clears throat> this little rabbit here, he's already had a bunch of seasonings and, you know, sitting in that brine. So we don't really need a whole lot, I don't think, to go on this little guy. So I'm just going to stir this around real good. Make sure it all gets mixed in together. We're going to do both sides of this rabbit. You just want to make sure it's all mixed in nice together like that. Sorry about that. Okay. So we're just going to make sure that all this is mixed in really well. Okay. And if I need to make some more, I, you know, I'll just make some more. Whatever. So. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it on. And then I'll go back and rub it on there real good. Some nice looking uh, thighs there. I hope this is going to be good. Um, confession, I've never had rabbit before. So, uh, all I know is everybody says it tastes like chicken. So, not surprised, but... Oops. Flip this baby over like that. Uh huh. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the good stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put the rest of this uh, dry rub over here. All over here. Make sure we get these oh, back legs here. No, I guess that's the front legs, isn't it? I don't know. Okay. So, we've got this rub on here. I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to cover it with foil. And, uh, we're going to let it sit in the fridge for a little while and just, uh, soak up all this rub here. I think that looks pretty good. Pretty good for amateur, right? Okay, so I'm going to wash my hands, we're going to cover it with foil, and just uh, let it sit and do its thing. So once we put it in the smoker, uh, we're going to make a, uh, <clears throat> a liquid rub to go on it, it's going to have a uh, 
uh, it'll be like butter and Worcestershire and um, don't really need any salt because it sat in that brine all night. Um, probably a little bit of hot sauce. We'll put a little hot sauce in there. And you can use whatever kind of hot sauce you want. Whether it's, you know, Tabasco or uh, Frank's or uh, like we make our own hot sauce. But we're not going to put it on this because uh, it's really hot and a lot of people don't really like it that hot. So we'll, uh, we'll save it for another time. So I'm just going to put some foil on this um, and uh, we're going to let it sit for a little while and then we're going to go down and throw it on the smoker. So whenever we get ready to do that, um, we'll come right back and we'll go on to the next step. Alright, so we are at our neighbor's house. Um, we are going to go ahead and put the rabbit in the smoker. Um, I'm not sure what temperature he's got his smoker at. Oh, watch out, buddy. You good? Um, oh, is it 225? So, we may have to cook it just a little bit longer because uh, they've got the smoker set for all of their uh, ribs and stuff. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get it on. And then I've got a wet rub that we are going to apply um, a little later on. So when we get ready to do all that, uh, we'll come right back. Alright, so the uh, rub on the rabbit has been on for a couple of hours. Um, so now what we're going to do, Jeremy's going to um, take the rabbit and we're going to put it on the smoker over here. Here, let me come around here so I can see you. So we're going to put it on this smoker right here. Um, and we're going to start it. You want to move that thing over here, babe? Um, we're going to start it with the bone side down. Just like that. Yep. Bone side down. And we're going to let it sit on the smoker for about an hour. Stop that. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit that now. Why? Um, so anyway, we're going to let that sit on the smoker for about an hour and then we will come back and uh, we're going to put a wet uh, rub on it um, just to get a little char on it. Um, so yeah, so after an hour we'll be back and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, uh, so we're going to check on this rabbit here. So we're going to, let me grab my, no, you're fine. All right. So, oh, what'd you do? Oh my gosh. Okay. So we flipped it over. It's starting to look pretty good. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put a, uh, uh, a basting rub on it. Um, yeah, I know. So in this basting rub, it has a, uh, So it's butter, Worcestershire sauce, um, paprika, a little garlic, and so what we're going to do is just baste it real good and make sure that it, this is just going to help it hold in all the moisture. Um, so we're going to let it cook like this for maybe 15 minutes or so. Okay, so we are, oh yeah, so we got to, we're going to flip it right now, we're going to go back bone side down, 
Oh my god, that thing looks amazing, y'all. Look at this rabbit. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to take the base, and we're going to base this side real good and get a nice good char on that meat. Um, seal in all that flavor. And again, this is butter, Worcestershire sauce, um, paprika, smoke. We did smoke paprika on this one and some garlic. Garlic and salt. Oh my god, that looks so good. So this is going to sit on the smoker for about another 15 to 20 minutes to uh, kind of seal in all this flavor. Then we're going to get a little crispy on there. So we're going to let this sit for 15 minutes and then uh, we'll check it again see what it looks like. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes on this rabbit. God, that looks so good. So I'm gonna flip it one more time. Grab this time. We're gonna flip it one more time. We want this last little bit to get a good char on it. Oh my god, that looks so good. What do you think? Should I base it again? All right, so we're just gonna let I know we're gonna let it sit like this for about five or ten minutes. God, look at that! Woo, we're gonna get a piece of meat on that. Uh, we're gonna let it sit about five minutes, char that uh, top side, and then uh, I think it's gonna be ready to go. So we're gonna taste this little piece here and see what happens. So five to ten minutes, we'll be right back. So I think we're gonna. We're gonna call this done. I can barely even. Oh my gosh, look at it. This was the original Texas beer. Uh, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Look at that. Look how that meat is just falling off of that. So we're gonna call this done. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna serve it up and uh, we'll get uh, everybody's opinion on it. Uh, where are you at? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna we're calling this done. That looks amazing. Um, the flavor of it, oh my gosh, it's got the perfect amount of spice, a little bit of kick to it. Um, we're gonna let some of these uh, folks over here try it out and get their opinion on it. But we tasted it and it looks amazing. So we're calling it done. Plus we got more people coming up here anyway. Uh, but we're gonna get some opinions on it, y'all. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like our channel, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, check out uh, Yellow Rose Ranch and uh, Chud's Barbecue. <coughs> so, uh, so we're gonna try this out. But thanks for watching, folks. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Jeremy's gonna be the taste tester here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Nate said turkey. Mm. Yeah. Good though, isn't it? What do you think about the seasoning on it? I like it. It's perfect. Yeah. Some heat. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hey. What you got there, buddy? <gasps> oh yeah, we got some rabbit. That's good stuff, ain't it, bud? Uh oh. Look at him. He's like, I, I don't know what I want more of. There you go. Look at yeah. him. Goodness gracious. <laughs> the dogs up because they're going to Alright, so Nate, this is our buddy Nate. What you think about the rabbit? The rabbit is good. You I like it? I'm telling you. I think I'm going to try and uh, go on the link and get that recipe. Alright. That's what we like. Thank you. You're welcome.